let us see tetra mix type now now before we progress into detail of the volume meshing methods we will have a overview of what all we are going to study we will see tetra mixed mesh within that we will see robust or uh, the robust octree method or algorithm we will see the quick delaunay algorithm we will also see the smooth advancing front type of method we will see how t grid can be used as you can see tetra mixed is frequently used mesh because in general in industry we encounter uh, complex geometries so for those we have to use tetra mixed type of meshing so in this particular uh, session or in this particular uh, course we will focus mainly on the tetra mixed type and we will study all these methods that we just discuss uh, we will also have a quick study of the hexadominant mesh and the cartesian mesh within which we will see the body fitted and the staircase method and also the hexa core methodology let us see the first octree methodology for this we go to mesh then go global mesh setup then volume meshing parameters we click on mesh type and select the robust octree method we will see the general methodology or steps involved in octree meshing algorithm the first step we import or create the geometry and define body points within the volume body points are just nomenclature or entities that are used to define bodies within the step 2 icm creates a bounding box around the geometry and mesh this box uni with uniformed hexadecimal mesh in the next step hexadecimal mesh is converted to tetrahedral mesh by cutting one hexadecimal to 12 hexadecimals so this is the overall methodology within the octree algorithm or oct octree method now we will discuss the fourth step many times surface mesh size is smaller than the global mesh size in order to satisfy this requirement volume mesh is locally refined generally this can be observed in the cut plane of the volume mesh nodes of the volume mesh near to the surface are projected to the geometry this produces conformal volume mesh now in the next step volume elements which are outside the domain will be deleted material point plays vital role in deciding which element to keep and which to delete elements which cannot reach the material point must lie outside the volume domain and will be deleted thus other elements which remain constitute the required volume mesh volume mesh produced using octree can be distinguished from other types of meshes by block like arrangement of tetras robust octree produces low quality volume mesh this is due to the projection of nodes on the geometry as mentioned in step 4 which creates low quality elements near the surface it is necessary to improve the quality of this mesh for this mesh smoothing is used mesh smoothing improves quality of octree volume mesh significantly quality of volume mesh should be greater than 0.1 now we will see geometry requirements for robust octree volume mesh some important points regarding geometry cleanup for robust octree will be discussed in this slide first is closed geometry many softwares for an example like gambit has volume as higher topology entity to surface closed loop of surfaces forms volume but in this approach if one or more surfaces are dirty or not well defined it is very difficult to create volumes and geometry cleanup process becomes laborious or time consuming In order to overcome this, ICM has no volume entity. Group of closed surfaces can be considered as volume. If gap between surfaces is less than the local mesh size, mesh will walk over the gap and no extra cleanup is necessary. If domain contains multiple volumes, it can be defined by using multiple material points. For an example, this figure shows domain which constitutes three separate volumes. They are defined by specifying multiple material points. Volume elements will be assigned part depending on the material point. One or more material points can be put in a single part. Now we will discuss use of curves and points to define geometrical features. As we have already discussed, robust octree algorithm is similar to the patch independent surface meshing algorithm. So unless there exists geometrical feature, mesh will not respect it. In this example case 1 has no curves as a result mesh create does not capture the geometry correctly this is easily noticeable at the sharp corners and edges in case 2 curves are present so sharp features are captured accurately but some curves like one in the middle connecting two halves of the sphere are unnecessary and should be deleted next point is to set proper mesh sizes setting proper mesh sizes on surfaces and curves is extremely important as it decides whether geometry will be captured properly or not 
density boxes can be used to refine mesh in specific regions of interest. In this slide we will see options available in Octree. First is run as batch process which is here that you tick this particular option. During the compute mesh operation GUI remains inactive so no other operation can be performed. Running as batch process frees the GUI to perform other tasks while mesh is computed in the background. Next option is fast transition. Transition between fine and core mesh is fast than normal. As a result mesh count reduces. Sometimes only surface mesh created by robust octree is required which is then used to create volume mesh using Delaunay or T-grid method. So fast transition option will come handy as it will create volume mesh quickly than standard method. Next option is edge creation. Tetra in octree method is cut so that geometry can be captured. This option specifies to what extent tetra should be cut. This is a factor of tetra edge, it varies from 0 to 1. If octree fails to capture the geometry due to sharp angle, then reducing this value will help to capture it properly. You can see the example here, in the first the edge criteria is 0.2 and in the second it is 0 0.05. You can also see the difference. Let us further see options in octree. Next option is thin cuts. This thin cuts option is very useful and it is used regularly when due to sharp angle surfaces are not meshed properly. User has to specify the surface which forms the sharp angle. ICM then resolves this issue by not connecting elements from one part to other. For example, consider the geometry in which side 1 and side 3 form the sharp angle. These two surfaces intersect at very small angle. Case 1 is mesh created without using thin cuts. This is the particular mesh created without using thin cuts. It can be observed that sharp angle is not captured and elements jump from side 1 to side 3. After defining thin cuts, features are captured accurately so this option is very useful in case where surfaces are close to each other. You can see the effect when thin cuts is activated. Now we'll see how to define thin cuts. In order to do that, we first click on define thin cut to open the option. Thin cut tab will open as shown in the figure. Then we click on select button in the edit entry section. Then we select the parts which contain surfaces which form thin cuts. Then we click on add. Specified pair of parts will appear in the window. If required the same process can be repeated to specify more than one thin cut. At the last we click on done so that the process is complete. Define thin cut tab will change its color to green indicating thin cut is defined. So this is the entire procedure to define thin cuts or 